mankind has witnessed all sorts of peculiarities and wonders while on this earth, and with each passing decade, we only get more and more to see. Whether it was the pyramids built by the Egyptians or the Colosseum by the Romans, all these cower in the shadow of the Chinese architecture and structures. From the Great Wall to the latest architectural ingenuities, China has been the homeland of some of the most craziest buildings we're about to uncover in this video. So here are the most insane Chinese buildings that you'll ever see. And with that, welcome to another video by Luxury Lores where we show you what the bling life really looks like. If you don't want to miss more fancy videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell icon. Number 1. Hot Spring Resort, Huzhou China has become the home to some of the craziest structures that you'll ever see. And it's not just office buildings and museums that will blow your mind but it's places like a hot spring resort that will leave you open mouth. This hot spring resort, which we're talking about, is located in Huzhou, a city in northern Zhejiang province. A resort whose center of attention isn't the suites, villas, or spa village served by hot springs. Rather, it is the mad design of the building that has become the main attraction. A mad building designed by the appropriately named mad architects lies within Lake Taihu, and it resembles a huge metallic donut. Yeah, you heard me right, it looks like a donut. A building first of its kind looks identical to a donut as the structure forms a loop encompassing an empty hole in between. This architectural excellence towers 100 meters tall and 116 meters wide and is embedded in the lake water. Being a resort, it comprises about 321 rooms and villas, each having a view of the lake becoming the epitome of hospitality. And it's not just the structure, but the lighting that adds to it too. Equipped with LED lights on its exterior, provides the exterior with ever-changing, multicolored patterns that make the hotel glow and provide marvelous reflections in the lake water. All this has made the resort a fascination for all tourists and nearby residents. Number 2. Olympic Green, Beijing China was the host of one of the most successful Olympics in 2008 and showed a glimpse of its dexterity and ingenuity. The summer games were held in the Olympic Park called the Olympic Green, which had some of the most jaw-dropping buildings ever seen in the history of the Olympics. In this park, the two main attractions were the water cube and the bird's nest. Let me tell you what's so special about these. First, we have the wacky water cube. This aquatic center traverses an area 40,000 square meters with 6,000 permanent seats and the capacity to hold an additional 11,000 temporary seats to accommodate the spectators. Construction of this mega project started in December 2003 and ended just before the games in January 2008. So it took a whole five years and $140 million to construct. But what amazes the viewer is the external cladding, which is made up of 4,000 ETFE bubbles with seven different sizes for the roof and the wall. These bubbles resemble bubbles in foam lather. The design of the project associates water as a structural theme with a square which is important in Chinese tradition and mythology. While after sunset, it becomes a crystal piece of architecture with LED lit bubbles. During 2010, the center was renovated to hold an area of 50,000 square meters and introduced water ice conversion in the middle of the competition hall for curling. But this design doesn't only have a traditional aspect to it, but it also means to work in harmony with the circular main Olympic stadium known as the Bird's Nest, giving the area a visual yin and yang balance. While we've talked a lot about the yang, I believe it's time to look into the yin, which is the Bird's Nest. Located within the same park, the bird's nest is yet another grand architectural excellence. Being the yang of the water cube, the bird's nest was seen as another epitome of Chinese culture. The circular shape of the stadium represents heaven and symbolizes the great nature on earth. On the outside, as you'll see, are steel frames with a design that seems architecturally impossible. This seemingly random design abides by complex rules of architecture and geometry. The inspiration for the original design stemmed from envisioning a single thread intricately wound into an interlocking pattern, reminiscent of a nest. This association led to the stadium acquiring its more widely recognized name. The stadium is spread over 254,600 square meters and took around 5 years and $428 million to build. The dexterity of the design allows each spectator to have a clear view of the stadium, regardless of the location, and all this has made the bird's nest a stunning icon in Chinese architecture. 
Number three, teapot building Wuxi. Now we've all heard about the importance of teapots in China and how it has been seen everywhere in Chinese literature and tradition. Well, if the Chinese could build buildings that represented their food, yes, the bird's nest is also seen as the popular and expensive Chinese food called the bird's nest too, then there should be no problem in having a building that showcases such an important cultural element. And so, if you ever get to visit the city of Wuxi and are trying to decide whether that's a teapot in the distance or some illusion, well, this is your cue to know it is actually a teapot. Wuxi is a home to the teapot building, which is not just named like the teapot, but it is also designed like one. Nearly 50 meters wide and 40 meters high, the structure is made from steel and covered in aluminum sheets and stained glass. And it's not just that, this tourist attraction also rotates 360 degrees on its own axis, allowing you to see each and every angle of the building from a single spot. Being the number one attraction spot for tourists, this building became the Tourist Information Center. And I bet there wouldn't be any better spot than this. Number 4. CCTV Headquarters, Beijing Next on the list, we have the CCTV Headquarter Building in Beijing. The capital city of Beijing is the leading city in architecture. The city that has the Olympic Green is also home to one of the most mind-boggling buildings on the planet. In a city filled with two-dimensional towers, the China Central Television Headquarters is an alternative of the typology of the skyscraper. The building showcases a loop of six horizontal and vertical sections that were joined to become one and a half building. So what makes it so special? Well, for starters, it looks like some randomly joined Lego pieces with a huge gap in between if one looks at it from afar. What contributes to this look is the design that looks like two towers leaning in on each other, merging in a perpendicular 5-meter cantilever. The design combines the entire process of TV making, formally scattered in various locations across the city, into a loop of interconnected activities. And it's not just the grand structure that adds to the ingenuity, but also the web of diagonals visible on its facade. The web becomes dense in areas of greater stress and looser in areas requiring less support. And so the building gives you an insight into the lives of people working behind the TV screen. This building took eight years to complete, starting in the summer of 2004 and ending in May 2012. Number 5. Starship Enterprise For all of us fans of Star Trek, the coastal city of Changle holds a treat for all of us. Built by a Star Trek fanatic to house his gaming and mobile app business, the headquarters looks identical to the sci-fi film Star Trek's famous starship, the USS Enterprise. The building has all the right reasons to become a theme park completing the dreams of many. But what's a dream for many is reality for Lu Dejian, the one behind the Starship Enterprise. Seen from below, it is 260 meters long and 100 meters wide, looking exactly like a normal office space. But from above, the entire campus is seen as the spaceship many dream to see. And it's not just an office, it has an indoor pool and an outdoor soccer field. This building took five years and a staggering $100 million to complete. Dejian took Captain Kirk a little too seriously when he said, to boldly go where no man has gone before. So he went out and built the first Starship Enterprise themed building, becoming the first and only building of its kind. He really had the madness and money for it. And with this, we're about halfway through the video. If you like what you're seeing, do please press that like button and subscribe to our channel. Number 6. Guangzhou Circle, China now, China seems to have a special fascination with circles as seen in its architecture. Whether it was the water cube or the resort, each building manages to showcase the circular shape. Well, the next building we have on this list is entirely circular. Seen at the very edge of the Pearl River, this iconic landmark is the world's tallest circular building. This building's design is inspired by the Chinese double J disc that has been etched in Chinese culture, the number 8, and the infinity symbol. The building casts a shadow in the river that looks like an 8, which is a symbol of luck in Chinese culture. However, the quality that really catches the eye of the viewers is the huge circular gap and the tallness of the building. It's almost as if it's about to roll like a wheel. This is only the outside, though. What's inside will leave you in awe if you already aren't. The circle is 138 meters high and spread over 33 floors. The circular-shaped skyscraper houses the headquarters for the world's largest stock exchange for raw plastic material with over $38 billion worth of plastics traded inside annually. And if that isn't insane enough, I don't know what is. Number 7. National Center for Performing Arts 
Next on this list, we have the National Center for Performing Arts, a building that showcases all kinds of art, and it's not just the art showcased inside, but rather art in the form of architecture and design. The building was designed by French architect Paul Andreau, declaring it his life's work. The structure is found in an artificial lake surrounded by 39,000 square meters of tranquil green gardens. The building looks like a really futuristic bubble, or what you might call an alien egg. The dome itself is covered by glass and titanium, which will have you think of the flashy spaceship seen in Marvel movies. The building hides an opera house, a theater, and a concert hall on the inside, and has space to accommodate 7,000 guests. And it doesn't just end there. To enter the building, the guests have to go through an underwater corridor with a glass ceiling that will only amaze your eyes. Imagine walking into an aquarium just to reach one of the most beautiful theaters and opera halls. The Chinese and Paul really went above and beyond with this one. Number 8. The Lotus Building, Wujun Next on this list, we have the Lotus Building in Wujun. This building is among the most popular you'll ever find in China. The lotus flower is a species of aquatic flower found over the surface of water with its roots in the mud. But what's special about the flower is its unusual life cycle. The flower submerges in water during the night and is seen blooming again in the day. Isn't that fascinating? Well, the Chinese culture gives the lotus great importance and leads to the transformation of this lotus building. This building is identical to a lotus flower. Yes, a building that can look like a lotus flower, and it's not just that, there's more. Like the lotus flower, the building is found on the surface of an artificial lake. And the fascination doesn't end here. The Australian architects made sure to depict the lotus flower perfectly and even managed to show the three stages of the flower's life cycle and bloom. The external petals radiate light and warmth and only enhance the atmosphere with the pink and yellow ribs. This building has become the city's planning bureau and hides most of the conference rooms and offices below the lake. This building has really surpassed all the architectural phenomena we've ever seen. Number 9. The Piano Building, Huan Yin Second to last on this list, we have a special building, a place that might be seen as home by many musicians and artists. The Piano Building is a z. The Piano Building, as the name suggests, is a place comprising various concert halls and a practice area for musicians and artists. This building holds a unique design that wasn't designed by any great architect but by the architectural students of Hefei University of Technology. So what is so special about this building? Well, the building, as the name suggests, looks exactly like a gigantic piano with a gigantic violin complementing it. The violin serves as an escalator for the people entering the building and to the blind eye seems it might be taking support on the piano. The piano holds the main halls and beneath the piano lid is a really cool terrace that gives you a view of the surrounding area. The building has now become a showroom for the city's development plans. Number 10. The Beijing Qianzi Hotel Langfang Last on this list, we have a design that probably is never seen or thought of by anyone. China has shown us some really bizarre architectural designs. We've seen metallic lotuses and buildings with bubble wrap, but what you're about to see next is something that even cartoons don't have. The Qianzi Hotel is located in Langfang, a city near the capital. This building has two great records to its name, and peculiarly, these records are almost contradictory. The hotel received the Guinness World Record for the quote-unquote world's biggest image building, and has also voted the ugliest building in China in 2012. Kind of weird, right? Well, the Qianzi Hotel is a many-storied edifice comprised of three old men in colorful traditional garb. Yes, the building is literally three old gigantic concrete men in traditional garb. That is by far the weirdest and most insane architecture I've ever seen. These three bearded figures are intended to resemble the three Chinese gods representing happiness, wealth, and longevity. The one at the center dressed in red is Fu, the right-hand deity in green is Lu, and the one at the left, who looks a lot like Santa Claus, is Shu. And that's not all. Despite being amongst the high-ranking hotels, the Qianzi has very less to it on the internet, making it mysterious. And so with that, we have come to the end of this video. So which building do you think was the most insane, and if you had the power to do so, how would you enhance the design of any of these buildings? Comment down below and let us know. Oh,